Sabal India is an immersion in the Indian tropics. The course takes place over three weeks and we study 11 different ecosystems from the Bay of Bengal all the way up to the Western Ghats mountain range. It's a traveling course and it's a field course. So it's all about engaging with the plants and animals and ecosystems that we'll discover along the way. We start by visiting the coastal ecosystems of the Bay of Bengal. We study the dunes, the estuary, the uh, dry evergreen forest, and the mangrove swamps. We travel to the Western Ghats Mountains, which is one of the world's biodiversity hotspots, known for its high mountain grasslands, wet evergreen forest, and mountain sholas, which are really unique ecosystems. Lastly, we visit a series of tiger reserves where we have the opportunity to observe some of the large megafauna of South India. Tigers, bears, elephants, and leopards all overlap within this dry evergreen forest ecosystem. We also get to meet with tribal groups that have been living in this area for a millennia and who are just as much a part of the ecosystem as the plants and animals that are found there. This course allows us to engage with the Indian culture in a unique way as well. Asabo partners with Bishop Heber College and students from Bishop Heber and faculty uh, from the college will come along with the course and, and teach along the way. So alongside uh, all students from North America, we have Indian students who are living and learning and studying along with us. We also study the ways in which biodiversity, conservation, and culture overlap. And we'll talk with the forest department, with private landholders, and with community organizations who are working to find ways to make sure that people's livelihoods and uh, conservation can go hand in hand. The areas of India that we'll go to are threatened by habitat loss, by forest fragmentation, and by poaching. We'll specifically look at how salt production along the coastal ecosystems have threatened migratory bird species that are nesting there. And we'll look at how the legacy of tea plantations have contributed to forest fragmentation and have led to human-animal conflict, especially with elephants and leopards and tigers that are found within the area. And we'll talk with indigenous tribal groups that are living inside of the tiger reserves and are now being employed by the forest department as anti-poaching watchers. It's a truly unique experience for engaging with a special part of God's creation and the plants and animals and people that are there. To find out more information about the course or to register, visit www.osable.org.